I almost forgot how to do a video. What's up fam? How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Good lord, it's been a good minute since I've been on here. A month? Damn. Y'all, I, I missed y'all. I just want to take a little break. I'll get, I'll, I'll get into the reason why I haven't been on here uh, for a minute. Just want to come on here, give a quick update on life on the channel, what have you. Um, so let's start with life update. Everything is good. I've been MIA just because working, living life. Um, nothing bad, just taking a break, period. Okay. Um, so that's what's been going on, working, living life, staying safe, staying healthy. Channel update. So, what I really wanted to come on here and discuss, and of course, other things, um, was that yes, I'm still making videos. I took a break because A, I ran out of inspiration, out of things to do. So, I took a break. B, which is the most important thing is because I feel like the channel has been lacking views. Now, I want to make something clear. I'm not about views. Of course, I'm not somebody that's going to get thousands upon thousands of views. I'm already aware of that. But what's what really, I guess, motivated me, that's even a word, discouraged, discouraged me from making videos this past month was that was the views if I'm gonna keep it 100% real I don't care if my video gets 100 views I don't care if it gets 200 views but when you spend so much heart so much time putting together a video time money what have you, because let's keep it real. I'm when I do my mukbangs, it's all my money, so no one's helping me, okay? And it, it becomes expensive. So, when you put out a video that you work so hard on, even though you know it's just for fun, you still want it to be seen by people. So, when it's seen by 30, 40, 60 plus people, it kind of feels discouraging. So at this point, mukbangs, I'm gonna put a pause on them. I may come on here every once in a while, but if I notice the views are down a lot, a lot, a lot, then for me, that's like, okay, maybe it's just not your thing anymore. Maybe it's just, it was a season. Maybe, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Should I continue doing mukbangs? What What do you think? And also, and I say this with the utmost respect for those that do mukbangs. I feel highly uncomfortable coming on camera when we're going through such a difficult time, when there's so many people that are hungry and bitching about food. You know, oh, they put too much of this. Oh, they didn't do this right. Okay. And I know it's not deep, but at the same time, it, it's kind of silly to come on camera and, like I said, bitch about food. And to me, that's what I see a lot of mukbangers do. They get on camera, and when something's not right with their food, they, they get so... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, extra. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing it for fun or they really feel that way, but for me, it's like, I'm, you all know me. Those that faithfully watch my videos know that I'm a laid back person. I'm not going to bitch about food. 
everybody that work, works in the fast food industry are human beings. They make mistakes. So I'm not going to go on camera and just look like a complete fool and have a meltdown if something isn't right with their food. I'm not going to be a Karen. So it just feels uncomfortable, and especially in the type of climate where so many people are struggling right now that don't have a lot of food to get on camera and just bitch and moan about it. Just keep it in 100. Like I said, no disrespect to those that do mukbangs. I'm one of them. <laughs> but it just, it feels kind of funny. So if I do come on here and do a mukbang every once in a while, it's going to be food that I already know I like or I made. And that's that. Period. Okay, so that's that with the channel. I'm still making videos. I may not be doing them pure out there a lot. Because um, like I said, this takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. Like this right now, making this video, it takes some time and effort. And I have to edit it. And not to, and to get no, no benefits of it, like views, comments, which boost it, the alg algorithm. Algorithm. You know... I don't know. And this is not my full-time job. This is not like my main source of anything. I do this because I love it. But like I said, when you, when you work so hard on a video that only gets 30 to 60 plus views, it kind of feels like, mm, maybe it's not my thing anymore. So I'm going to try this one last time and see how this goes. Um, so please keep your post notifications turned on. So another thing what I want to discuss. So I recently got my first dose of the COVID vaccine. So I mostly wanted to come on here and share my experience. Um, let you know how it went for me. Uh, watching this, it's going to be day two. Since I got the shot. I got it on Thursday. Uh, today, shooting this, it is Saturday. So I got the, the Moderna shot. And for those that are scared of needles or don't like to be poked, prodded by needles, I can come on here confidently and tell you that you don't feel shit. You don't feel nothing. It just takes a quick second. I didn't even know that they poked me with the needle. Okay? So, no worries. I know on TV it looks like when they show people get it, it looks like they're stabbing him in the damn arm. It's not like that. I promise you. It's very painless. The side effects. So, I still have a little bit of a sore arm. Sore arm. Sore arm. <laughs> can't talk. But nothing, nothing that can't be dealt with you know I had a little bit of a low-grade fever still kind of do um have kind of like so uh cold symptoms a little bit of stuffy nose um but nothing bad i feel all right um but i know a lot of people that have gotten it um they have different experience so i'm only speaking from my experience so um had a sore arm a little uh low-grade fever a little bit more tired than I usually am, not going to lie, but nothing too bad. You know, I took some aspirin, stretched my arm. So if you do get it, uh, make sure you stretch your arm, you know, you move it around. But don't, what I really want to stress is that I prayed about this decision because like everybody else, very nervous about the side effects, but I went with my gut instinct, prayed about it. No one forced me to get it. I did it all on my own because um, I want to live a life for a whole year. I feel like, like everybody else, but being type two diabetic, I've had to really be careful. And for me, it felt like, it feels like I haven't really lived a life for a year so to go from 
going to work back and forth comfortably or going to the store comfortably, going after work with friends for a drink or dinner comfortably, going to meet up with family members for a get-together comfortably has really been pause and that's tough. You know, doing simple things, like I said, going to the grocery store, going to the movies with friends, what have you. But I know still a lot of people continued with their life. It hasn't stopped. I mean, I haven't stopped living my life. But really, it's been here. I go out for my walks. But literally, home is where I'm at. Every once in a while, periodically, I go out uh, to do my necessity shopping. I have to, but that's about it. And a brother tire. I want to live my life too. And I hope those that are watching don't judge me and understand where I'm coming from. Um, I was no more nervous or apprehensive about getting the shot than than you. Those that are watching. So I did this all on my own. I mean, you know, make the schedule the appointment for on my own. <laughs> Did my research before I got, the, you know, before I scheduled the appointment. And really, really want to really, really emphasize, prayed on it. So those are, are scared of getting the shot. I can tell you with 100% confidence. Don't be scared. Pray about it. Go with your gut instinct. But I can tell you, I can uh, sit here and attest to, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's maybe a day or so of, you know, a sore arm. Now, I don't know what the second dose is going to be like. Um, I go on the 18th, sorry, 15th of next month, and I will be fully vaccinated. So... For those, like I said, that are scared or heard this or that about it, do your own research, pray about it, but I can tell you that I'm here, that I'm fine, that it's not that bad. Once you get the shot, they make you wait 15 minutes to make sure there's no side effects, no reactions. Uh, and then you can go. So there was, of course, no reaction that I had. Waited 15 minutes. I got it at a Rite Aid. And then they give you this. And then they give you the, your return date. Which, for me, is on the 15th. My second dose. So, and that will be that. So... It didn't hit me until I got home... And I posted something on Facebook and it said basically how thankful I am. Thankful for the scientists, the men and women on the front line that are protecting us and keeping us healthy. And really, my heart was heavy. And with those over 530 lives that don't have a chance or the opportunity to get the shot. And so... I feel those that are completely against it really take time and think about it. Think about all the hard work that these scientists have put into it. And I want everybody to know, and not, I'm not going to get political or anything like that, that this shot, if you do your research, the vaccine has actually been in the works for many, many years. It, it just wasn't this past year. So... And also really think about those lives that have been lost. Families that have lost a loved one due to COVID. And that's just my humble opinion. But let me know if you got the shot. If you gotten the vaccine, let me know what your experience was. Um, did you have any reaction to it? What was your side effect? Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on with me. I hope everything. But he's doing good, staying safe. 
still wearing the mask because I know a lot of states are lifting the mask mandate. All I got to say about that is use your best judgment. This pandemic is still going on. So keep that in mind. All right, so I'm going to let you guys go. I hope to see you guys very soon. If you're really rocking with me, comment, support, share, like, comment, all that good stuff. All right, I really missed you guys. Uh, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Sooner rather than later. All right. So I will see you guys on my next video soon, hopefully. Peace.